I'm going to kind of touch on is a lot of things that kind of applies to everybody just in life in general, but it's also good to kind of evaluate where you are, um, not just personally, but also in your transformation journey here with Evolve. So some of these commandments might sting a little bit and sound kind of like some tough love, which is good. Um, <laughs> Hopefully you guys get some sort of take home from this, um, but I want you to think about which commandments that you wish to embody more of, and that maybe you haven't done in your past weight loss trials, like some things that may have, you know, that you've kind of struggled with, um, or maybe you didn't realize was actually happening. So as we go through some of these commandments, um, the ones that especially sting a little bit or feel a little bit like tough love, um, let us know and maybe reach out to your coach, which one um, you feel like you want to work on a little bit more and we can help develop some habits and goals for you, even maybe an evolved goal for you for your next check-in. So, all right, we'll give everybody just a couple more minutes here. I'll kind of recap that here as well. Um, so I'll wait just a few more minutes because it's just now it looks like 12 o'clock. So Just this here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get started. That way, um, everybody that joins can take a listen and then we can kind of move on for the rest of our day. Um, today, I want to talk about lifestyle commandments and kind of, as I said a few minutes ago, or if you're just now joining, um, some of these might feel like tough love or sound a little harsh. Um, and they're not really meant to be, but if those are the ones that kind of stand out to you the most, let us know. Um, maybe those are some things that we need to work on together to help you develop some habits or another goal for you to help work on some things. So I want you to um, listen to each of these commandments. I want you to realize which ones you might need to work on or things that some of them that you've maybe overcome in the past, <clears throat> but which ones kind of speak to you the most that you want to and body more of, um, and also which ones haven't really worked for you in the past during your weight loss trial. So that being said, we're going to go ahead and continue. Again, if you're watching live, go ahead and watch, um, comment live. And if you're watching the replay, then comment replay. And for those of you that do not know me yet, um, or if we have not been introduced, my name is Jessica. I am a certified health and wellness coach in adults and seniors, as well as pregnancy. And I am also a registered nurse. I work in the emer emergency department here um, in Whitefish and sometimes travel down to Kalispell. I also have my bachelor's in nursing, um, a certified emergency nurse, and I also have my paramedic degree and do work on the ambulance um, here in town as well sometimes. So moving on. So our first commandment is my thoughts are not facts. So your thoughts are based on emotional responses to kind of your surroundings, but just because you feel a certain way doesn't mean that that's really what's happening. Um, so the big thing is, is, you know, your thoughts are not facts. Do not base decisions solely on your emotions. You kind of need to reevaluate what's really going on and the underlying issue that's causing you to have those thoughts. Um, and so like one big one is, you know, my, as far as like clients go that we're working with, you know, my, my weight's not changing. I'm not making any progress. So you, you're feeling frustrated maybe because the scale is not moving, but you've, you're working on your daily habits, you're improving on your hydration, your movement goal, things like that. So you are making progress, whether or not the scale is actually moving. Um, and that's one thing that we really try to stress with our clients is it is frustrating. And that is kind of the, you know, the fact is the number on the scale, but that doesn't mean that your body's not actually changing. So the scale is kind of our worst enemy. That's why we tell our clients we don't focus on that so much. There's all of these other things underlying um, that we need to work on and work through. And just because you're feeling overwhelmed and that's your thought, you know, that you're not making progress, you are in fact making a lot of progress despite that number on the scale. So the big thing is your thoughts are not facts. Those are based on emotion and emotion, you know, can drive your behaviors and things like that as well. But just because you feel a certain way does not mean that that's actually what is going on. So first commandment is my thoughts are not facts. Second commandment is to always keep the big picture in mind. This is especially true. You know, this is, this is true in general um, for any of your goals that you have for your life, whether it's weight loss, career, family, things like that. It's really hard not to focus on the day-to-day -day things and get 
drug down and the mundane and, you know, lose focus and things like that. So we really want to keep reminding everybody to think about the big picture. It is a slow process. It is not a quick fix. Our programs are meant to be sustainable. And what that means is that we do take our time, but we want to make sure that we do it healthy for you uh, and in the most healthy way possible so that it is sustainable long-term. So you may have this long-term goal of, you know, I want to lose 20 pounds and that's your initial goal when you first start. However, your body is going to change. And that goal that you set out in the beginning may not be the same goal that you have throughout your entire journey, because you're going to realize as your body is changing 20 pounds, that number doesn't really mean anything. It's kind of an arbitrary number, right? So if your body is changing and you're seeing results and you know, you're know you able to focus on the fact that you're able to get up and move without pain, or you're able to do certain movements that you either couldn't do before or you know, haven't done properly or haven't been able to do in a really long time because of where you're at in your transformation. So we really want to make sure that you keep the big picture in mind. Um, you know, and that's also why we have you take progress photos every couple of weeks is because you don't see the changes day to day. And it's really hard to not get wrapped up in that and think that you're not making progress. And then when we go back and look at the big picture from where you're at currently to from where you started, there are going to be changes and it's not always going to be physical. You're not always going to have you know, all the inches lost that you wanted or all the fat loss that you wanted. But we, what we're hoping that we're building throughout your transformation too is the solid foundation of healthy habits along the way that seem really difficult at first, but the more you get into it and the more you do them, they're second nature. So as you continue on, it is going to be a lot easier to focus on the big picture, but it's really hard in the beginning. But that's one thing that we really want you to remember is always keep the big picture in mind. Um, the next commandment is never, ever, please don't ever make assumptions or comparisons, especially, um, you know, if you start your transformation, maybe at the same time, if you just, if you joined with a friend of yours, your bodies are completely different, which means the processes that we have to do throughout your journey and your transformation are going to be completely different. Um, and don't assume that maybe some person, you know, they hardly ever have to work out and they always look like that. It's all genetics. Well, some of it might be genetics, but that's also not fair because now you're making a comparison to somebody who's nothing like you. Their body's completely different. Their past experiences have been completely different. Their actual program is going to be completely different and it should be right because we're not the same. You could put two people on the exact same program exact same program. So your, their nutrition could be the exact same, their macros, their workouts could be the exact same, their perceived exertion, let's say for their workouts could be the exact same, but they're not, they're going to get completely different results because their bodies are completely different. One person might join with us and have a very quick transformation. If they've already come in eating a certain amount of calories, we can get them right into their fat loss phase. But that doesn't mean that they haven't worked up to that point either. I mean, they've done a lot of work to get to that calorie count and all of those workouts that they've done in the past. And furthermore, comparison is a thief of joy. So if you're going to compare yourself to somebody else and say, oh, they've got great results. What am I doing wrong? You're not doing anything wrong. Your journey is completely different. It's going to look completely different. And also don't assume that maybe they're working harder than you. They may not be. You may be working harder than them. But again, that's an assumption. So don't make assumptions about other, other people. I shouldn't be saying that either. <laughs> you don't want to assume, make assumptions and please don't make comparisons to others. It is the ultimate thief of joy. So no assumptions and no comparisons. This one I really, really, really want to focus on and drive this point home. But I also, I hope it stings a little bit and feels like tough love. Um, because I feel like a lot of people get really focused again on the scale and think that they're not making progress. But there's also some people, if you're not actually following the program that we have laid out, you're not going to get the results that you want in a timely manner. So if you're, if you're putting into practice, everything that we ask of you, as we ask of you every single week and really put the effort, you're going to start seeing results, but you are not entitled to that success. And that goes with even your careers or your money, family, things like that. You are not entitled to any of that. You have to work for it. So if you want the results, you have to follow the program. 
as we, you know, your specific program that's tailored to you, there's a reason that we have things laid out a certain way. And if you're, you're not entitled to the results, if you're not going to actually put in the work. Um, and that's really hard sometimes. And, it, you know, things happen. So, you know, we've had a lot of clients lately who have had pets pass away or family members that have had, um, that have passed away. And, you know, they have some minor pivots or setbacks and things like that, but they jump right back in and they do the work and that, and that's okay. As long as you're still making progress, you know, each day and each week and each month throughout your program, but you are not entitled to those results if you're not going to do the work. Um, so then that one kind of, I know, stung for me a little bit when I first read it, cause it does sound like tough love and it sounds kind of mean, but, but it's true. And it's, you know, you, you're not, it's just like, if you want to be a nurse or a physician or something like that, you can't just wake up one day and be like, this is what I'm going to do. You don't get to just get that title. You have to work for it. You have to go through this, you know, through school, you have to take the exams, you have to be certified or licensed wherever you're working. So just because it's something that you want, doesn't mean that you're automatically entitled for entitled to, you have to do the work to get there. Um, and the next commandment is that I honor the fact that no one gets to skip steps in their journey. And I'm going to read that one again. So I honor the fact that no one gets to skip steps in their journey. And this is kind of goes back to what I've touched on already. You can't skip steps. You can't go say, I want to lose 20 pounds, kind of like, you know, the last commandment, you're not entitled to the success or the results if you're not going to do the work, but you also have to do the work in the order that it's written out in order to get those results, right? Same thing if you're going for your nursing degree or you know whatever career that you choose, you can't just skip things. You have to do things in order because it's progressive. The learning is progressive. The weight loss is progressive. We have to get, you know, prepare your body for the optimal fat loss phase. And that does take time. So we can't just jump you right into it, especially if you're under eating, you know, for example, for our clients, if you're significantly under eating, your body is in survival mode and it's going to start storing all of those calories that you're giving it because it doesn't have enough fuel just to function properly. So what we have to do is retrain your body and your metabolism to realize I'm getting enough food. I'm getting enough fuel. I no longer have to store all of this extra fuel and it's going to start releasing it. And once your body gets to that point, that's when we can safely get you back down um, slowly to get you into your fat loss phase, but we can't just skip ahead because it's not going to work. Your body will never get out of that survival mode. So there's certain steps that we have to take in order to prepare you for your optimal fat loss phase. And that's the same thing that goes here with command, the commandment, you have to do all of the steps in throughout the journey to get the results that you want. Same thing in life and, you know, careers, things like that. You have to go in order and check off all of the steps. Um, the next commandment, I embody the beliefs and actions that I want mirrored back to me. And I think this one is kind of important, important too. And, you know, my kid, uh, my oldest, Abel came home from school the other day and said there was a girl that was picking on him and calling him names and telling him that his name was stupid and things like that. And I kind of had to sit there and remind him that some people aren't nice, but you still need to be nice to them. Um, and that's kind of, you know, you need to mirror the actions or the beliefs and the behaviors that you want to receive back to you. So, and that's, you know, I won't spend a whole lot of time on this. I feel like we've all kind of been taught this since we were a child, you know, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all, which is another thing I reminded him. Um, but make sure, you, but put that out there. And this kind of goes along with the post that I had put on my page a couple of days ago that what you appreciate, appreciates back. So, you know, if you put out good energy, good vibes, um, and if you're nice and courteous and you are encouraging and things like that, then you're going to start seeing those things in other people. And you're going to start attracting those types of people and those behaviors and those emotions back to you. So the things that you focus on are what you're going to start believing and seeing, right? So, and this kind of goes on, along with Sierra's post. Um, I think it was yesterday also, like if you start looking for things, you're going to see them. But if you're not looking for things, if you're not looking for things to be grateful for or the positive things and you start focusing on the negatives, it's just a, a, a downward spiral and you're going to keep going down that path. Um, so really try to focus on the positive, the beliefs and the actions that you want mirrored back to you and make sure that you embrace those and embody those, but also that you're giving those back out to the universe as well. 
Um, the next commandment is, I understand that emotional management is a top key for success and that only I can manage this. So this one was kind of, um, I kind of had to reread this one a couple of times to actually really feel and understand exactly what was trying to be said with this one. So you are the only one that is in control of your emotions. You have to be able to manage those. And it is super important um, to be able to manage those so that you are successful. So same thing as kind of the last commandment, just worded a little bit differently, is you have to focus on the positives um, and you have to really want to be successful and focus on things that are going to make you su successful and embody and embrace those behaviors and emotions and things like that, that are going to help you progress forward to, to maintain your success. Um, and this one goes back also kind of on um, that we touched on a couple slides ago also is I must implement the complete strategy in the order designed. So I won't, gonna, won't get back into this whole spiel again, because I already kind of went there, but it's the same thing in life and careers as it is in your transformation journey with us here at Evolve is there are certain steps that we have lined out um, that you have to follow in the order that it's written, because you're not going to get the results if you don't follow them in order, just like you can't just run and take a test without being provided the information that's going to be on the test and being taught how to um, or before learning the uh, material that's going to be on the test. So um, we won't get too much into it again, like I said, but there's a reason that we have things lined out the way that we do. Um, everybody's journey looks completely different. Some people go through a full reverse um, with a really high calorie count. And some people, we just kind of slowly bump up until we get to a maintenance phase for them that, that we don't really have to reserve, but they're reserve or reverse, but their body is still changing. So you have to do the things in the order as it's designed to get the optimal results and to be successful. Same thing in careers. I've got a hair on my face. Um, you know, same thing with like nursing and doctors and things like that. You have to follow the steps in order. You can't skip steps. Um, the next one is I am 100% responsible for my own success and am the creator of any and all results. So this kind of goes back to the other slides too, just a little bit of a different wording here, but you are responsible for your own success. So if you're going to put in the time and the effort consistently and you're dedicated and you do the work every day as it's written um, in the order that it's written and you're putting in the, the effort, then you are going to get the results. You are 100% responsible for your own success. We can give you all of the tools, all the tricks all the information, all of your workouts, your meal templates, your macro splits, all of those, we can vomit all of this information out to you. But if you are not taking responsibility for your own success, if you are not implementing those habits and those goals every single day and going to the gym and getting your workouts in um, and you know, working on your mental health and taking time for yourself for self-care, things like that, if you're not doing all of those things, then, you know, unfortunately that's on you. We try to help you. We, you know, we reach out and try to help hold you accountable, ask you, you know, what things do you, are you struggling with? How can we could develop a plan to help you navigate this together? Um, you know, and if you're not reaching out to us either and letting us know that you're having problems, we don't know how else we can help you. So you have to take responsibility and accountability for your own actions as well in order for you to be successful. So you are 100% responsible and you can create any and all of the results. Now, that being said, it does take some time to really get in, to really make all of those habits and goals second nature, right? So in the very beginning, it is super overwhelming for a lot of clients because now, you know, we have calories for you to hit. We have all these goals for you to hit and, oh yeah, and we need you to do these workouts and we need you to do this and this and this. And it's, it can be super overwhelming, but we work through it. That's why we try to break it down as much as we can. We try to meet you where you're at so that you're not feeling overwhelmed and that you're not feeling like you just can't do it because you can, we can all do hard things, but we want to make sure that it's, that it's sustainable for you. So we meet you where you're at, but you need to remember, like I said, if you're not putting the things into practice, you're not going to get the results, but you, but you are 100% responsible for your success. 
we want to be here for you. We will help you as much as we can along the way. But again, if you're not putting in that effort and that consistency and that dedication every day, even on the days that you don't want to go, then you're not going to get the results. It's okay to take a break here and there if you need an extra rest day, you know, or if something comes up, that happens and that's okay. Um, I'm not saying that you have to do the same things every day, all the time, or you're not going to get results. You'll get more, your results faster, the more consistent and the more dedicated you are, and the more you put these into practice on a daily basis. But th- we do understand that things do come up and you might have a little pivot here and there, and that's totally fine. We will work through it together. But the big thing that, you know, this one's kind of worded a little harsh and it is tough love, but that's how it should be. You are 100 respect, 100 respect. Oh my gosh, 100% responsible for your own success. And you are the creator of any and all results. All right, the next one, we're almost done. I take action toward my vision or visions every single day. So this is kind of an embodiment or encompasses um, most of the other slides too, that you have to take action toward your visions every single day, which means you have to be consistent. Um, And like I said, things pop up, some days you get derailed and that's fine. But as long as it's progress, we don't expect perfection. We don't expect you to do, to hit all of your, all your goals every single day. It's just not possible. I have days that I don't hit some of my goals. In fact, the last couple of days I've been feeling like really run down and really tired. And I did not get my steps in PS Sierra (laughs) the last two days because I was just I physically felt just exhausted. And I was like, I just need to kind of take it easy these two days. I didn't get my workouts in. You know, I was still up and active, but I didn't hit my step count. I still ate like I was supposed to. I still did most of my other goals and habits, Um, but I'm consistent otherwise. Almost every single day, I'm hitting all of my goals, doing my workouts like I'm supposed to, getting in my water, sleeping, you know, taking an hour before bed and trying to be off the screen if I can. Um, all of these habits and goals that we've developed throughout the last, I think it's almost been three years now that I've worked with Sierra, um, as a paying client and I am still a paying client. Um, so, you know, but I've made progress and I've been consistent and dedicated and I have more days that I do the things that I'm supposed to in the order and as it's written and everything like that. And I'm dedicated to the program. And so I'm still getting results. So it is okay you know, I don't lose complete sight of my vision um, on the days that I kind of take a rest day. I'm very well aware I t- acknowledge, you know, that I was tired and I needed to take a nap and I embrace that and was like, that's okay to these two days. I'm okay. If I don't get this done, I didn't beat myself up about it this morning. I woke up early, got to the gym, got the kids ready, all of those things and felt great and was right back on track. So, you know, just remember that it's just consistency and dedication. And there are days that you're going to be derailed and that's totally fine, but you have to be consistent with your actions in order to get the results. And always, like I said earlier, keep the big picture in mind. So all of these are all, they kind of intertwine with with each other. um, And a lot of them are just kind of reworded a little bit differently, but there's a reason why, because they all pick out little different pieces um, of these commandments that really kind of paint this big picture of why I've been so successful and why a lot of our other clients with Evolve have been so successful is because we've we've done these things. We embody all of these commandments with all of our clients um, and in our own personal journeys as well, um, not just as um, moms, but as coaches and you know things like that. So enough of that one. And this is my last slide. Um, this isn't really a commandment, but it's just kind of something to kind of keep in mind. Easy is earned. So really kind of think about that. Easy is earned. Everything is difficult in the beginning. Most things. Okay. Some people have things that, you know, it depends on where you're at in your life and what you're specifically addressing, I guess. (laughs) But especially when you're starting with your transformation journey here with Evolve, it is super overwhelming at first. Um, And it does seem very, very hard to remember to do all of the things in the order that we tell you to as we keep changing things, you know, every six to, you know, six to eight weeks, we change your training programs. And so now you have to learn new training programs. And if you're going to the gym, you're like, oh, shoot, now I've got all these other exercises that I have to remember where they are in the gym and what weights I use or should use, you know, things like that. So, but as you continue to do this um, through in anything in life, as you continue to do 
things over and over, it becomes a habit and it's not so difficult anymore. And then it just becomes second nature. Um, and that's kind of what we hope throughout our programs as well, is that it does get easier for you and that you do feel like you can do things on your own. I have a client um, who I've just, fin- she just finished her six month contract and um, I have posted about her before. She's been on our website um, and her progress pictures. And she, at the end of her six month contract, we chatted and I was like, you know, I would love to keep you as a client, obviously, because I love seeing her transformation. I loved keeping in contact with her, which we do still keep in contact. Um, but our goal is at the end of the six months that you have built yourself a solid foundation and that you can just go on your own. Our goal is not to keep you as a client forever. We want you to have these solid foundations built so that you're comfortable enough to go on your own and continue your transformation journey. She's still in the middle of her reverse. She's not, you know, she's still eating. I think when we left off at um, the end of her contract was 2,100 calories, which is still a significant amount of food. And you know, she's not down to her ideal body weight that she had initially set out for, for her initial goal when she um, came to evolve as far as her, you know, 20 pound, I don't remember what the specific number was, but she's like, you know, I don't even care about the number on the scale anymore. She's like, that's not even a goal. I don't know why that was so important to me. I don't know why that number was so important. It didn't change how she feels about her body right now. She has made so many changes, not just physically, which you can see her physical transformation, um, throughout our, our group page, but her mental transformation as well. She's way more comfortable around food. She's wearing clothes that she hasn't worn before. She's had to almost buy a new wardrobe because she's, um, her body has changed so much, but she's so happy overall with her entire results of her entire transformation physically and mentally. And that's our goal. And, you know, obviously I, you know, I would love to keep around because it's nice to kind of keep more contact, but she's on her own now. And that's our goal is that you are able to use what we teach and what we've um, helped you attain as far as your hydration, you know, your daily habits and things like that. But for her now it's easy. She's able to do this on her own. She doesn't need all the accountability and the extra support and the guidance because she's learned so much from all of us coaches and also being involved in the group from all of you as well that she feels totally comfortable going on her own. Now she did say, you know, if I'm struggling again, I will certainly come back because I do need some accountability sometimes. And she's said that that's one of her biggest struggles, but that's what we're here for. And you don't necessarily have to sign up for a whole nother six month program. We're here to help each other out. You're more than welcome to post questions on our website Um, between myself, Sierra and Bree, you know, we will answer those, um, you know, and if there's one that I'm not comfortable with, I'll reach out to Sierra and be like, Hey, I need some input and things like that. So we rely on each other as well to give you the most up-to-date and accurate information. So now I'm just rambling. Um, so those are, (laughs) those are all the commandments. Let me know which ones you feel like you need to embody more of, which ones kind of stung a little bit. Um, and you know, reach out to your coach as well. If there's something that you feel like you're struggling with, we 100% want to help you navigate anything that you're having difficulty with. That's what we're here for. Um, So please do not be afraid to reach out. Um, And I think that's all I have for you. It's 1230. I've talked long enough. I think (laughs) this is a little bit longer than I expected, but um, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Reach out if you have any questions. Um, If you have any questions about our one-to-one VIP program, please feel free to send myself, Sierra, or Bree a direct message, and we will be happy to answer any questions that you have. So have a wonderful day. I'm going to figure out how to get off of here without looking like a total fool. Um, So yeah, hope you guys have a wonderful day and we'll chat with you soon.